Oh well, looks like we've got a couple of little dramas going on here with the tractor. Which is a bugger. But I was um, heading over the hill there to do some slashing and I just heard a big loud bang. And the, the cutting deck dropped down on the ground so I'm guessing that the hydraulic pump's taking a shit. We've got no hydraulics. Nothing's happening. take the slasher off and we'll put her in the shed and see what we can do. Blow him down first. shed blew most of the grass and crap off of it and it's like something's not right we'll go up the house and do a bit of reading and um, hopefully I can get this thing fixed it's probably just a hydraulic pump just but I mean We'll um, dig into it. Okay, we're pretty sure she's done a hydraulic pump, the old Massey. So we're gonna take this off, start it up, and then run it and see if oil pops out of here. It's not the pump, it's something else, but um, if no oil comes out, then it's the pump. So this is gonna have to come off anyway, but we'll just see. Well. I don't think it's a hydraulic pump. So I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we'll have to dive in a bit deeper anyway and see what's going on. Something's let go in there because maybe one of the shafts has snapped off or something. We'll have that look.
Okay, so they, they say these things are really heavy. So we'll see what happens. Lift him down or not. It's just awkward more than anything. Well, all the videos I watched, this just popped straight out, but That's something smashed there. So I've got all that off, finally. It took me a bit longer than it should have. So you've got to pull the shaft out the back here and undo all those bolts. And man, this thing is heavy. If you ever do this, don't, don't. I, I lifted it off, but yeah, I wouldn't suggest you do that. And check this out. So this piston here goes in here and moves with the hydraulic oil, pushes it which operates, it lifts your, your arms on the back up and down. That. She snapped. She lives there, it's basically there, go like that. Like that, and it works. She snapped off. So, the joys of old tractors. We'll, um, I'll see if I can pull this part tomorrow and um, then I'll see if I can organise some parts. See if I can get another one of those things. Slide on and put them all back together again. Hopefully. That piston's got rings on it and all, eh? Check it out. She's a decent sized slug. Heavy. So, yeah. See how we go. We'll have a crack at it anyway. I'm guessing there's probably going to have to be a like a part two and yeah, so that's a bugger. Probably have to do like a part two and stuff. So organize some parts. We'll put it all back together. Hopefully, hopefully I can get parts because I, I had to get some parts for it not long ago and um, it was nothing but dramas. What was that for? Can't remember now. Uh, what was that for? Ah, planetary gear. And the mobs that own the tractor wreckers want top dollar for everything for these old tractors now because the people collect them and do them up and all the rest of it. So, yeah, we will get a little coin out of that. All right, more for cleaning up. All right, see ya. Okay. So this is what broke on the tractor. Man, you would not think that that would uh, break like that. It lives in here. This is broken too. I'm going to fix that. I know I'm going to get that off. I have to have a better look at it. I need glasses. But yeah. 
Here's the arms. Obviously they go on either side. Here's the rest of it, got the shaft out. Yeah, oil all over the floor, so we'll get some dry zilled and clean all that up and chase up some parts for this hopefully and see if we can get it going again with any luck. Tell you what, it's a bit of a job. That thing there is heavy, heavy, heavy. Like, I'm not gonna lift it back in there myself. Like, I'm gonna get a an engine lift machine sort of thing to, uh, I wanna know what you call them, cherry picker or whatever you wanna call it and and lift it back up because, um, yeah, that's, a, that's an injury waiting to happen. Plus, I gotta line a few things up when it goes back in. But everything else is all good. I checked all this out when I had the pedestal off to do the bearings on the steering stem, so, um, and I, I knew all this was all fairly good, and the pump's working fine, so, yeah, just a matter of getting that back fixed up, and hopefully we'll get it all running again, get the old 65 cranking. It's a sad seeing it sitting here, that's for sure, in the, in the shed. Slashes over there. I've got to wonder if that slash is too big for it. It's a six foot slasher, it's pretty heavy. And whether that's got something to do with why it broke, but people put, you know, 400 litre water containers on the back of these things, spray rigs and stuff. You wouldn't think that it'd snap. I don't know what's happened. Something's happened. But we'll get it fixed up. It's, you know, shit. It's 60 years old, so. These things happen. All right.